His heroism inspired a movie, an Afghani man risking it all to save an American. Well, now he is the one in need. CBS 2's Scott Rappaport has the story. At first glance, his name and face seem unrecognizable, unremarkable. But Muhammad Gulab, a simple Afghani villager, is as brave a hero as there is. Just ask Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell, whose life Gulab saved at great personal peril. He very well could have just left me laying there on the side of that waterfall and let me die, but he didn't. The remarkable story was depicted in the movie Lone Survivor and told on 60 Minutes, the true tale of four Navy SEALs trapped in an extraordinarily hellish firefight in the mountains of northeastern Afghanistan in 2005. Three of the SEALs were killed, Marcus Luttrell the only survivor. Though shot twice with several cracked vertebrae and shrapnel wounds in his leg, alone certain he was dying, he was discovered by Muhammad Gulab, who took him to his village and protected him from the Taliban. I knew I had to help him to do the right thing because he was in a lot of danger. Luttrell was ultimately rescued by American forces and made it home, but now it is Gulab who needs help. After aiding Luttrell, Gulab and his family had to go into hiding, threatened with death letters like this from the Taliban. He says his house was burned down, his cousin killed. They attacked him, they've shot him, they've put RPGs through his household. He's been living in hiding and never in the same place in the same evening. Immigration attorney Michael Wilde says he's working pro bono to bring Gulab and his family to safety in the United States to grant him asylum here. He says so far he's been able to help extract Gulab and some family members from Afghanistan to a neutral, undisclosed country. He won't say where. He does say it happened last Saturday. But, he says, getting asylum for Gulab and his family here in the U.S. has proven delicate and complicated. That means the U.N., Homeland Security, a lot of officials have to sign off on this. I'm prayerful that they will. Wilde says ultimately the Department of Homeland Security will make the call. Ironically, Gulab has been here before, occasionally visiting Marcus Luttrell on his Texas ranch as recently as a few years ago. Wilde says he probably could have stayed. When he was here, he should have applied for asylum. This would be a moot effort had he just remained here. And now an unprecedented effort to bring him back for good. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. Now we did reach out to the Department of Homeland Security for comments. So far, we are yet to hear back.